the Nazareth men's hockey program marked its 10th anniversary on Saturday. President Beth Paul and 2015 grad Julius Tomasi were on hand for the ceremonial puck drop before the Golden Flyers game against Wilkes. Before the contest, there was an alumni game and a reception with former players, parents, and friends of the program. It's pretty special. Obviously, everyone has stuff going on, so you don't get to see each other as much as you'd like. So having the one weekend where everyone who can make it is here and you get to catch up, haven't seen each other in a while, it's pretty, pretty fun. Oh, yeah. We're really lucky to have uh, this whole facility and uh, have a program with so much culture. And uh, say it's awesome to see kind of some of those uh, first alums come back. So it really means a lot. The biggest thing about tonight, guys, go out and have some fun. Believe in each other. I know we pulled this thing together, guys, coming from all different directions, but the journey starts tonight. The first ever game was held on October 18th, 2012. And with a huge crowd watching, the Golden Flyers scored a dramatic 3-2 overtime win over national power Geneseo. Defenseman Reed Smith scored the winner. I didn't realize how you know how many fans were in the stands for that game, and uh, you know to win that game, Eddie Zadolchuk played amazing, and to win that game in overtime was you know, one of the top experiences not just here, but you know in my coaching career. You know there was a lot of hype around the men's hockey program coming to Nazareth, and you know all of us were excited to to build the culture and, and build the foundation here, and to come out and win in overtime in front of a crowd like that. That was that was something that we'll all never forget. Another history-making game was held in December 2013. The Golden Flyers played Geneseo outside at Rochester's Frontier Field. Ben Blasco scored both Nazareth goals in a 3-2 loss. My dad used to go out in the backyard and uh, make a little ring for us during the winters and uh, he'd be out there shoveling it off no matter what and, and skating with me so it definitely brings you back to your roots uh, you know when you're younger and you just you know stay out there for hours on end and uh, that's where a lot of uh, your skill gets developed, and uh, it was a lot of fun to play out there. Among the program's all-time leaders, Ray Falso has the record for games played at 116 and goals with 37. Oliver Jansen is the career scoring leader with 80 points. Goalie Ed Zadolchek is the leader with 2,595 career saves and 28 victories. Michael Tilford has a career best 2.48 goals against average. Continue to have that sound defensive game, fellas. That's been our mindset all year. You guys haven't varied from it, and that's why we're having success. And George Roll is the only coach the program has ever had. He now has 98 wins behind the NAS bench. Coming in here, I just um, wanted to, to bring in uh, you know good people, and uh, I can't speak highly enough of the type of my assistants, um, the guys they've brought into this program and what they've done for the program, of starting with Jared DeMichael and now through to James McDonald, just done an amazing job and uh, that's why it's been a pleasure to coach. Playing here is like no other. I mean, the, the culture of guys here is, I mean, you can't really beat it. I mean, credit to George, he kind of built this program from the ground up and, you know, handpicked you know, really good character guys that um, in that culture is really what makes this program. Nazareth won the 10th anniversary game, a 6-3 win over Wilkes, and officially clinching another UCHC playoff bid, as hockey history continues to be made at Nazareth. We've done extremely well in the classroom. These guys have gone on to, you know, be, become lawyers, doctors, Guys have done uh, extremely well in the physical therapy field, so I'm proud of it. Overall, I'm so pleased with what these guys have done in their lives, and you know I can't say enough about them as people.